everybody. Um, you got to see my whatever omelet this morning. My car is fixed. So now it's time for us to go ahead and put together something for dinner. I really, really love warm dishes, um, especially it's cold outside right now. Um, so we're going to do a red wine braised short rib. And we're going to put that on top of um, some potatoes. But our potatoes are actually going to be purple mashed potatoes. So we're going to do garlic purple mashed potatoes. And also going to put together a little gremolata, which is kind of a citrusy, garlicky topping that goes over the top of the meat and kind of gives like a little bright, you know, kind of flavor. And it cuts a lot of the fat um, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, braised uh, short rib. Um, all right, so I'll be right back in a minute. I'm getting everything ready for you guys, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, these are our ingredients for our purple potatoes, um, or purple garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, we have a little kosher salt in here, as well as we have a little garlic powder. And then the water, we're going to boil off about three cloves of garlic, excuse me, four cloves of garlic. Also, we've got some uh, cold butter, and we also have some ice-cold heavy cream that um, we're going to put in there as well. Um, because these are so small, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually probably leave the skin on. I'm not really sure yet. I'll let you know. Um, and um, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is our short rib. Um, of course, our main ingredient is the short rib. Um, I got these from my local grocery store. And you want to kind of get a nice size short rib. Got a lot of meat on that. It costs a whole lot more, but I mean, it's, it's a much, 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 much better cook. Uh, a lot more delicious than just getting the, you know, the ones just have just like the bone on there. Um, also. We're going to be using some uh, celery, and I cut the whole piece of celery up. Um, if you've been to culinary school, you'll know that they don't really want you using this part, but we're going to be braising this for about two hours, so it kind of doesn't really matter um, that you're using that. It's just going to uh, fortify you know, the, uh, the stock or the, the, the jus that you're cooking it in. Um, we have some carrots. This is three large carrots uh, cut on a bias. Um, uh, we also have some uh, beef broth. We're probably going to actually use three times this, am this amount, but I'm just putting it this way for you guys to just see it and understand, you know, what's going on. Um, this is some regular old seasoned salt. We have a little garlic powder. This is some dry thyme, some minced garlic, some red bell pepper. Uh, it's out of green, so I use red. Uh, we have a medium to large diced uh, one whole onion, a little uh, canola oil, and this is uh, something that we use back in the Caribbean called browning. Um, this is the Jamaican browning. Um, there's kitchen bouquet. Alright guys, so now we're ready to go in with our meat and start getting it nice and seared off. Alright, our pot is nice and hot. And I'm using a Dutch oven because to me it just cooks up a whole lot better. So if you don't have one, go out and get one. You don't have to get the biggest, hugest one they got out there. But, you know, you can get one for about 50, 60 bucks. Um, I absolutely love cooking. Um, with this, because once you cover it up, put it in the oven, I mean, the heat just, it just, you'll see the product that we end up with. I mean, it's just a phenomenal, um, something to have. And it should be in your, your pot collection. You should have a, uh, Dutch oven. Alright, this is smelling phenomenally good. I mean, cameraman is over here shaking his head right now. Because uh, they know it too. It's going to be a good dinner tonight. Alright. So. We got all that in there. And we're going to move this around and stuff. So uh, it's going to take a minute for it to start getting browned. Brown, you know, browning the way that I want it to do. But I'm going to take my time and I'm going to let this meat brown the correct way. Okay. So um, uh, just uh I'll be right back. I've got this meat in here, and it's smelling really good. It's looking really good. And I've just decided that I'm not actually going to take the meat out this time. I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my veg. Um, I'm going to start off with my onion. This is about one medium onion um, here. You could use, uh, you know, however much onion you'd like. This is our celery. Okay. And I'm going to go in with our bell pepper. And then I'm going to hit her off with our carrots. Alright, and then you just kind of want to get in there because you want to get that meat kind of up and move it around. 
so that bed can get down to the bottom. And just get mixed in to just help, you know, with the flavor. Now we're going to glaze this pan soon, or basically get the little bits off the bottom um, in a second. And this meat's going to shrink up too, guys, because as those proteins break down and everything, you know, the meat will become smaller. Let's just try to get that in there. That nice bed of vegetable balls. Those carrots. Those carrots are going to help so much when it comes to sweetening. Uh, when I showed you the ingredients, I did forget to put ketchup on there. Ketchup is, like I said before in my other videos, ketchup is one of those secret ingredients that, uh, you know, it's just a really, really awesome ingredient. It's got lemon juice in it, it's got vinegar, um, it's got sweetener and all that. And we're going to hit this off with a little bit of ketchup, uh, probably right now. And you can see that meat is just getting... So looking really good over there. Alright. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit of this ketchup in there. Alright. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this browning. And like I said, this is Jamaican browning. Uh, it's kind of weird. You can't find it in every store. Um, but it'll be in the ethnic aisle, and just ask for a Jamaican brownie. Um, now, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of red wine, because this is a red wine braised short rib. Okay. Let me turn the flame down just a little bit. And then another key ingredient to this braise is our beef stock. Going with that, and I'm probably going to put another one of those in there as well. Um, but you can see what the browning does; it turns the whole pot nice and uh, brown, and you know, so you get a nice, pretty, you know, brown flavor um, on your meat. Oh, let's get that ketchup worked in there some really well. And, you know, you can kind of taste the sauce right now, but it isn't really going to taste like anything. You want to wait for a while, because you can always go back and re-season, um, you know, your meat and everything. Uh, let's go ahead now and hit it with our dry thyme. Okay. And then we're going to go in with our little bit of garlic, minced garlic, in there. Our purple potatoes are starting to boil up really nicely in the back. And just look how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my God. I'm hungry, like, right now. I love food. Oh, I know that makes me sound like a big, huge, fat lady, but I don't care. I love food. Alright. So now, clean this up just a little bit. We're going to hit this off with just a little, little bit more of the beef stock. This one's not open. It's not good. More beef stock. Okay, we're gonna go in with that. And that's done. And remember, make sure you clean as you go. It makes it a whole lot easier to cook when you clean as you go. All right. So we're gonna just go ahead. Get a little laugh in the background. That's my mom. She's not getting any tonight. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Turn on, lady. All right. So we've got everything going now. Uh, we're going to take the top of our Dutch oven and we're going to put it on top of our dish. And we're going to go in now into our oven. And we don't. Okay, I got on. my smasher. And we've got our purple potatoes right here. If you guys want to come over and take a look, see what we got going on. That's our uh, purple potatoes already cooked. I got the heat on, turned on just a little bit. 
Um, and I'm going to put a little more salt um, in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of this heavy cream. Okay. And now I'm going to start just smashing, breaking those skins. Now the skins on a purple potato is a lot more coarser than, um, you know, your traditional potatoes. So you might have to use a little bit of, you know, elbow engineered pushy pushiness to get down on there. But that's how that's going to look, basically. Okay, everybody. It's a little bit later. Two hours have gone by. As you can see, it's darker now. Um, I've smashed the potatoes. You cook it the same way you do regular mashed potatoes. However you cook yours, that's how you prepare it. Um, let me just give you a look while the water's running. Um, <laughs> as to how the potatoes, <laughs> how the potatoes look. Come on, camera girl. If you look in there under the light, that's how your potatoes look. Just like regular old mashed potatoes, except they're purple. Okay, now we're, we're right finished with our short ribs. Put those out of the oven. That's exactly what that looks like. I have my gremolata already prepared, which is just uh, parsley, lemon zest, and garlic. I'm going to plate this All up. All right, so right there back. we go. That is our braised red wine short rib with our gremolata on top of it and our purple mashed potatoes. Does that not look absolutely awesome? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to taste this delicious dish. Be right back. Alright everyone, are we rolling? Alright everyone, it's time for us to taste this great dish right now. Um, let's try our potatoes. Like I said, just make these potatoes like you make your potatoes at home. Mm, very good. And now we're going to cut in. Look, oh my goodness, camera lady, come come over here. They got to see this. Look at how tender. Tender, tender, tender that meat is. Absolutely right, awesome. So I'm cutting into this meat really looks so good. Getting some of that carrot and that granolata on there. Oh my goodness, this is just falling off the bone. This looks so good. Absolutely awesome. Probably switch it home. See you guys next time.